Hello, in this video, I was going to share how a mural artist or any other artist, if you quickly want to do a create like a fun public project and create a mural that will be a paint by numbers. Um, so we're going to have a public painting day. And what I did is we're going to be using some Sherwin Williams colors and I've created a color palette of all the different paint colors and then I've assigned them numbers and you can see that I've applied a pattern to this area here and then this is how I can continue to use this pattern tool uh, so first let's just talk about making patterns um, if you haven't done that before you go up under object and pattern make but first I need a shape to do that so what I did uh, just before was I created this square with a with a number in the middle. I'll go ahead and click on color five. And when I'm in this pattern tool and patterns will show up over here, like I made a folder or a group of all my color swatches. And then here's where just my um, number patterns are coming up. And I'll zoom in here. So basically, if I turn off the amount of copies I'm having, it's just one by one. Basically, it's a square that has the color in it and a number. And I've been popping over to here. Uh, so now, right now, if I want to use the red, go find this red in here, I will click the red, change this to six, and hit save a copy, and just call it color six. And hit OK. And you see it open, it saves to my swatches panel. And then while I'm in here, if I'm in a row, I can just, or if I'm in a, I'm in a roll, um, find the next color. I don't have them memorized. So it looks like it's going to be a darker red. And change this to seven. Hit save a copy. Color seven. And it just allows me to go do a lot of this quickly. All right. And then when I'm done, I'm going to, I'm going to hit cancel because I would accidentally hit save over color five. And then next. So what I will do, let's just say I want to find, click on something red and I want to change it to color six. Go up here to select, select same fill color. Now this really works if you use swatches and I love using here, I'm using Pantone swatches. I found a Sherwin Williams equivalent. Uh, so that found all that red in the document. And if I click on color six, it changes it to that pattern. And it's just, it is a little bit busy and annoying, but it, it creates a optical tool so people can paint by number. Um, and that's about it. So uh, using, using swatches, um, I have vector artwork already, and then using these patterns and assigning numbers to them, uh, and using the select fill same same fill color and that's how I was able to quickly change all of these and the same with any other color so find this one boom I'm not sure what else I have I can find all the is this the orange select say so they all get some sort of number here's the yellow And that just helps some people aren't as experienced with color, helps them quickly identify what they should be working with. All right, thank you for watching.